Hey, it's your cheers. So welcome back to my channel. <laughs> my cat is tawa. Hey, it's your cheers. So welcome back to my channel. So hi, kamusta? So for today's video, I'm gonna be doing an everyday makeup look, and at the same time, I will be teaching you guys about the terminologies applied in animals. So by terminologies, I mean what do you call the female horse, the meat of goat, something like that. So let's start. So before starting this video, I have prepped my skin. So I've done my hair. First for the primer, I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Master Prime Mattifying Primer, and at the same time, I will be telling you guys about the horse. So in every animal, there is a generic name. So the generic name is basically the general term. So kung bakas ng gamot, parang walang specific. The horse's generic name is what we call the equine. So in general, the term for uh, adult male is the sire. So a horse sire is what we call the stallion. Yan. So small one pump lang, kasi hindi naman ako naghahangad ng masyadong coverage. So adult females in animals is called the dam. Damn! A female dam, it's what we call the mare. Young horses are called a foal. Pero pag girl, it's called a filly. Pero pag male, it's called a colt. So in medicine, like in general, we have what we call the parturition, which is the act of giving birth. So meron din na uh, gestation, the length of pregnancy. So, bakit ganito ako mag-concealer? Wala lang, ikakalat ko na lang siya. Nagkamali ako eh. Horse parturition is what we call the foaling. So, may kumakain pa dito ng horse meat? Kasi ako hindi ko pa natikman. Pero alam ko meron. Sabi nila, yung masarap, masar yung daw ang pinakamasarap na tapa. Correct me if I'm wrong. Ah, uh, yun ang original na tapa. Horse meat is just called a horse meat. Hey guys, editing Reg here. So, apparently, there is a term for horse meat. And it is called the chevaline. So, yun lang. So I forgot to say the scientific name of the horse. So the horse's scientific name is Equus caballus. So let's talk about the cattle. We have two classifications. So merong non-humped and humped. So yung humped is yung parang may bulge sa likod. So for the scientific names, the scientific name of the non-humped is the Bos taurus. So as in yung taurus na zodiac sign. For the humped cattle, um, the scientific name is the Bos indicus. So the cattle's generic name is bovine. For my blush and probably highlight, I'm gonna be using the Morphe 8 Warm Master. And then thank you to subscribers. Like, hindi ko talaga inexpect. As in, I got shocked. Kasi nung unang video, parang 34. Ata. And then like, maybe 44. And then glitch ba to? But it's not. And then like, thank you. <laughs> and then there are people who messaged me and texted me na they watch my video daw. Ganun. Pero like, oh my god. Sobrang na-appreciate ko yun. Kahit hindi ako karoon ang tumanggap ng compliment. But thank you, thank you so much. Okay. So going back to the lecture. So the cattle sire is what we call the bull. And then cattle mare is the cow. So, kaya nga cow's milk kasi female yung cow. Okay? So, for young cattle, the collective term is calf. Pero, specifically, for young females that has not given birth, it's what we call the hyper. So, for the parturition of the cattle, dalawa yung term niya. So, it's elder calving or freshening. Pero, both are accepted. Sa meat, iba yung meat ng young sa adult. So, the meat of the young is what we call the veal. And then, the meat of the adult is the beef. Okay, so for my eyes, I'm gonna be using the Caroline Play to Slay palette. So next animal is gonna be the pig. So the pig's scientific name is Sus domesticus or Sus scrofa. Pig sire is called the boar. Pig dam is called the sow. So for the young pigs, it's called the piglets. Pero pag female under one year old, it's called a gilt. Sa parturition, it's not called pigletting. <laughs> It's called farrowing. And then pig meat is called the pork. Next animal is gonna be the sheep. And then the sheep scientific name is the Ovis Aries. Aries is in yung zodiac sign. A sheep sire is called the ram. And then a sheep mare is called the ewe. It's not ewe, it's not ewe. It's ewe. And then young sheep is called the lambs. Sheep parturition is called lambing. Hindi lambing. Wala nun. Ano yun? Non-existent yun. Wala mo bibigay sa yun ng panahon ng quarantine, wag kang umasa. So for sheep meat, so pag young it's called a lamb and then pag adult it's called a meat 
Okay, next animal is gonna be the goat. The goat, the greatest of all time. <laughs> Na alala ko yung classmates ko. <laughs> oh, I miss school. I miss the physical school, like the physical contact with my classmates. So for the goat, their scientific name is Caprahircus. And then their generic name is Caprine or Caprine. Canine. Canine. Equine. Swine. Equine. Equine. Caprine. <laughs> Caprine. <laughs> Goat sire is called the buck or billy, and then goat mare is called the doe or nanny. Young goat is called the kid. Parturition is obviously kidding. No kidding, it's called kidding. So the goat's meat is what we call the chevron. Hindi chevron, iba yon, chevron. So next animal is gonna be the dog. So before I go to the dog, I'm going to the eyeliner ko real quick. Canis lupus familiaris. Their generic name is canine. So, canine na parang kanine, not the canine na letter K and 9. Dog sire so is just called the dog. And then, dog dam is called the bitch. So, but now I'm bitch, just say na I'm not a bitch, I'm not a female dog, I'm a human being. Shut up. Bitch ka lang. Ako super bitch. And then, for young dogs, they're called puppies. For dog parturition, it's called the well pig. Dog meat is called a dog meat. So everything that I'm using in this video is gonna be listed in the description box below. Kasi hindi ko sure ko na sabi ko lahat. So next is gonna be the cat. So the cat is Celiscatus. So a male cat is called a Tom or Tom cat. O diba Tom and Jerry. Pero hindi ko sure kung Jerry yung tawa sa male mouse. I think not. So a female cat is called a Queen. And then obviously we all know yung tawa sa baby cat. So they're called kitten. Queen parturition is called a Queenie. So cat meat is just called cat meat. So habang napapowder ako, sabi ko na yung last. So the last will be the chickens. So the chickens, their scientific name is Gallus Gallus Domesticus. Their generic name is Galena Sign or Galena Seed. So the male chicken is called the rooster. And then the female is called the hen. Maybe chickens are called chicks. Pero specifically, kapag girl is bullet yung tawag. And then kapag lalaki, it's called a cockerel. So chickens don't give birth to live young animals. Um, they lay eggs and then the egg hatches. So yung tawag sa paglay ng egg nila is called the oviposition. Takes a few days before the egg hatches talaga. So fun fact, so chicken drumstick isn't their thigh or their femur area. So it is their tibio tarsus. So it is a fusion of the tibia of the bone and then the tarsus of the chickens. So yun lang. So basically that's the topic for today. So for the lips, I'm going to be using Lip Ink from Brave Beauty. This is the shade Fearless. So this is the final look for this video. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this lecture. I hope Pero, um, siguro mag-leave na lang ako. Ita-type ko na lang lahat ng terminology down below. Like, reference. Pero, huwag niyo akong i-quote, please. <laughs> Kasi tinuro lang talaga sa amin siya sa vet school. Sobrang proud ko dun sa professor namin. Hi, Doc James. Lahat ng lecture namin, it's all dictation. Lahat yun, i-drawing niya sa board. As in, wala siyang hawa kung hindi marker lang or chalk. That's it. Sobrang proud ko din sa sarili ko na nag professor ko sa Kasi sa kanya ako natuto mag-memorize ng almost 100 na species. Uh, 100 different breeds of different animals. So, I don't know how I did it, pero I'm thankful na naging professor ko siya. So, for the last step, so obviously I'm gonna be setting my face. So, favorite ko yung Beauty Mist by Ann Clutes. it for today's video you guys so i hope you have liked this look that i have made so this is my everyday makeup look so i hope you have also learned something for me today so sorry kung medyo magulo yung pagtuturo ko i'll try to improve my teaching style for my next videos so if you have learned something for me today please don't forget to click the thumbs up button and since nandito ka na rin naman please don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can get notified the next time that i post that's a freaking tongue twister you guys anyhow that is it for today's video, my loves. See you on my next video. Bye!